Hey, what's up, everybody? Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video, and I've got a lot of new information on the pilots. Alright, so the regular pilots are going to cost 100 to 300 gold each, which isn't too bad, but wait, there's more. It starts to get ridiculously expensive on the gold as we move on. Now, the legendary pilots are going to cost around 2,500 gold each, and those will have a non changeable skill that already comes preloaded on them for a specific robot. So before you buy one of those, make sure you own the robot that the thing has the skill for. Personally, I would buy a regular pilot before I would buy a legendary pilot. Now you can switch the pilots to different robots, but you'll have to retrain the skills if you switch them. And this is where it's going to get to be ridiculously expensive. Alright, the first skill you train is picked by the game. So every time you train a new skill, the game picks it. Now, if you want to retrain that to a skill of your choice, that's going to cost you 1,000 gold, or you can pick a random skill for 50 gold and hope you get one that you like. Now, each pilot can have seven different skills. So if you want to train seven different skills of your choice, that's going to cost 7,000 gold. All right, it sounds like you can even pick the same skill as many times as you want, and then those skills were stacked. Now this is for a regular pilot. I'm not sure of the cost to retrain skills for a legendary pilot. Now your pilots will earn experience and level up just by playing the game. Or you can pay gold. It's looking like it's about 50 gold per level. Now as you level up more, I don't know, that, that may even increase in price. I'm not sure. But every 10 levels your pilot will be promoted. To finalize each promotion, you must pay 500 gold for that promotion. After it's been promoted, that will allow the pilot to continue leveling up. Say you get the level 10 and you don't pay the 500 gold for the promotion, you won't be able to level up your pilot anymore after that. So the estimated cost in gold per pilot is going to be 300 gold to buy one. We'll just say 300 gold. We're going to average this off. Training seven skills, 7,000 gold. Promoting your pilot's to level 30 so I think you're gonna have to promote one each three times to get to level 30 so we're looking at about 9,000 gold right there just for one pilot and you're gonna need one of these for each robot that you own and plan to play unless you constantly want to retrain the skills every time you switch them to different robots alright this this is kinda sad because this game is really really going into a pay to win direction Alright, pilots are just another pay to win option that's going to cost you large amounts of gold. You know, back in October, maybe it was December of 2018, things really started to change with this game. It went from a really fun game that was pretty fair for everybody, and then it started moving into the pay to win direction, and it just keeps going that way more and more. First came out the modules, some of those cost a lot of gold. Alright, that's, that's very hard for people who can't afford to spend a whole bunch of money to level up and like you got the last stand people will get that last stand where they get down to pretty much zero health then they have five seconds where you can't even touch them and then they pop a healing module and they go back to like 40 percent health pretty soon the uh, the uh, advanced healing module is going to come out and they're going to get like 60 percent health back in seconds so these people are just going to go down to zero health you're sitting there trying to kill this guy and then bam all of a sudden he's back to 60 percent health in no time and takes you out why because he spent a whole bunch of gold for each one of those plus a huge amount of resources that's crazy alright so you're gonna have like the, the the really expensive modules plus the really expensive pilots and then everybody's doing the pay to play thing with the robots now it used to be that you could you could always buy the robots you know and level them up quicker with real money but they were never out of reach to anybody it just it just took a lot longer to get them but looking at the the uh, tremendous cost of gold that it's going to cost for some of these modules the tremendous amount of resources it's these are s sort of actually out of reach to people who are on a tight budget so this game is really turning into a pay-to-play game in just the last six or seven months. It went from really fair to anybody. You know, I mean, the, the pay people always had the advantage, but not like this. 
Okay, people who don't have a lot of money to throw around are going to be at a gigantic disadvantage as soon as these pilots come out. You know, the wealthy people who can afford to spend it, I mean, they're just going to they're going to level these things out. They'll have all they'll probably have like a whole hangar full of pilots maxed out in a week or two. I mean, it's really a shame because this has always been such a really good game and it's always been what I would say really fair compared to most of these other mobile games. And it, it's just sad to say, see one of the best games on on uh, on phones going downhill like this. You know, I, I a lot of people have quit when the modules come out, and I don't blame them. And I know a lot of people are going to quit when these pilots come out. All right, certain companies make loads of money by offering items that you can buy that you don't even need for the game. All right, a lot of these companies make it so you can make you can have any item you want in this game just by playing the game, and then they just sell extras like skins and you know just other things like that, things that you don't even need for the game, and people still buy them. People spend a lot of money, and these companies make loads. All right, I don't understand why companies need to do the pay to win the th thing. I guess they go from wanting to make a little bit of money to wanting to make outrageous amounts of money and screw their loyal players over. That's how I see it. All right. The other thing I want to complain about is lockdown. All right. These things take a lot of the fun out of the game as well because they lock you down too often. When the whole enemy team has lockdown and bam, someone locks you down and as soon as it wears off, two seconds later, bam, another guy locks you down. It wears off. Bam! Locked down again. And you can't move. I mean, where's the skill? I mean, this game is starting to become where there's no skill involved. It's starting to become where it's all about what you have installed in your ro robot. The lockdown, the modules that make you impossible to kill, all the healing. You know, these pilots have all kinds of different healing abilities. And like I said, you can make these so they stack I mean people are gonna have unkillable robots basically this game is just turning into a whoever has the most money wins the battle and it's sad but that's the direction this game is going these are my opinions All right, I've always tried to keep a good attitude towards this game and I've always tried to stick up for this game but the way it's at right now, the way things are going, it's it's very hard to say good things and stick up for the game because this game is a load of fun, but there's a lot of stuff that's really starting to take the fun out of the game, and it looks like they're going to continue to make things that take the fun out of the game. All right, so you need to pay money to dominate. The people who pay money are just going to obliterate everybody who doesn't. You know, I get it. Companies need to make money. Everybody should be supporting these companies. You play these games, you should be spending some money. Even if it's $5 here and $5 there, you should be spending money to, you know, they got to pay the employees. You know, they got to they gotta pay the people to do up updates. They got an office. They got to pay the electrical bills, all the maintenance on the game. It costs money to keep these games running. So you guys do need to support your games. But, you know, it's just gone into a really, really bad direction. Alright, I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I was going to do some gameplay, but this, you know, this video is... Yeah, I, I, you know, let's go ahead and just play a game anyway. Screw it. I'm going to go ahead and play Team Deathmatch. But yeah, I don't know. I, I just think it's kind of sad. You know what? No, let's go play Beacon Rush. Let me cancel that. I've changed my my mind. I'm gonna go play Beacon Rush. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and change this robot. I think I'm gonna put my Spectre back in. And then I guess I'll go. You know, I never really play that Wayland. I never play him on Beacon Rush. I always do team deathmatch with him. So you know what? This is probably probably the first time I've ever tried I think this is the first time I've ever tried Beacon Rush with him
So I don't know, this might turn out pretty cool, it might not. I'm not going to use him as my first robot. I'm going to wait till, till we get a couple beacons and hopefully we'll get to where there's a bunch of people sitting around guarding a beacon and then I can just bring him in to help him heal. I never, I never really thought too much about it. I got the Wayland and you know I really don't play him all that often. Usually if I need to farm some silver I'll bring him in and go and do team death matches and just try and heal everybody. What is this guy doing? Is this guy tanking or what? Wow, look at that lag. That's some crazy lag. What happened to his stealth? Why didn't that was the weirdest thing I have ever seen? Zap! That's how you fangs out on one of these guys. I didn't actually want to jump forward like that. And fortunately, I didn't end up right in the middle of the enemy team, which could have easily happened when I did that jump. Which would have been really bad. They could have took taken me out really crazy. So that worked out. So you got to be really careful when you things out. I always say that. I guess I should come over here and try and take these beacons. They're not even over here guarding this. Let's take this guy out. I don't know what these guys are doing, but they're slacking. All right, we got this one. I'm talking about the enemy team that's slacking, not my team. So let's kill that guy real quick. Zap! As long as you have cover, it's okay to fangs out. If you don't have cover, don't use it. Because you will die. Here comes somebody. Alright, he's going to come over this way. So I'm going to go over here and try and whoop him. Let's go after this Lancelot. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I need to hide. That's not good for me. I think that's a Spectre right there. No, that's a Nemesis. Alright, let's go kill this nemesis. As soon as he his thing goes down, zap! Well, we almost got him. I'm going to try and hide so this guy can't hit me because... Alright, perfect. That worked out alright. That fangs out almost caused me to meet my doom. Man, I'm having a really good game, actually. When those pilots come out, things may not quite be like this. So far, I'm not really seeing a bunch of lockdown. People aren't using last stand. I mean, this is this is this is what games were like when they were a lot of fun back before the modules and the lockdown and stuff came back. It was all about skill. Eh, I'm not even going to bother with the Wayland because. I'm having a lot of fun playing fighting. <laughs> All right, let's get one of these guys. Guess that's not going to work. Get him, get him. Got it. Eh, he didn't quite die. If someone would have shot my shield, I would have killed that guy, no problem. So I'm going to kind of try and corner shoot this dude. That, that Inquisitor is going to jump in here any second, I bet. So I need to be ready for that. Just trying to finish that guy off. No, he went the other direction. So I'm going to come out here. And right about... Right about now, I'm going to use this shield and try and kill this Lancelot. I didn't get it. That guy's healing. See, I don't mind the regular healing module. I think that's actually pretty cool. As long as you're not using them when you're in last stand or if you don't have the advanced healing module. I like the regular healing module. You know, it, it's nice. It doesn't really... 
It's not over the top. It doesn't give you a whole lot of health back. It won't save you from dying in a battle. Come on, wear off. Come on, wear... There we go. Time to kill this guy, I hope. And I'm out of ammo, so I'm going to try and get back here inside that person's ansile and use that to my advantage. Alright, there we go. Yeah, our team's having a really good game here. I'm going to try and come over. Oh, there we go. We win. Yay. All right. Not bad. I think my I think my clan is just about ready to level up to the next level. Let's go play another one of these. I'm going to go ahead and start off with my Falcon. He's a great supporting robot for the Beacon Runner. And it doesn't look like we... Okay, we do have one Beacon Runner. But we're going to go towards the center and try and get that Beacon. So we might actually have to fight for that. I see somebody coming in on it right now. Oh no, that's one of those things with the shield. He locked me down, and I wasn't able to get over there to take that beacon. At least I think that's one of those things. What is that? Yeah, that's a blitz. And he's locked me down, and he suppressed me. Great. Isn't that lovely? Suppression and lockdown, both of those are no good. See, I'm locked down again, can't move. I mean, it, it, really, it really makes the game not very fun. They should at least make make the lock down only last for like two seconds or something. I'm gonna try and follow this follow this healing robot and see if I can get healed over here. Get some of my health back. And he went out of healing mode, unfortunately. What just happened there? That Inquisitor went into stealth, but he didn't jump. This game's being really weird today. I've never quite seen anything like this. Alright, our healer just died, and I'm ran right into all the enemies. And I'm being, being beat up. How is that thing still hitting me? Man. Alright, so that, that didn't work out. I, pr I don't know why he ran over there, but I shouldn't have followed him. I just wanted someone to heal me. And I got I got tr I got trashed. And why can't I move? Sometimes you can't move, and you you just don't know why. I don't think I was locked down. Let's try and take this guy out. Maybe he went behind something. can't even tell what that is. What kind of robot is that? I better watch and see what's behind me. I'm all good back there for now. See, this is where lockdown is nice because I could totally lock one of those guys down and kill him with my retribution cannon, no problem, but I actually hate lockdown, so this guy is going to kill me. I'm dead. Alright, let's go ahead and bring in... I'm going to bring in the Wayland see if I can heal a couple teammates there's someone else that needs healed they're way out there though so there's what there's a, where'd everybody go there was just a bunch of people in here 
now there's only one guy, so he doesn't need healed anymore. Let's move over this way. Someone just killed that guy. See, I like to be able to brawl a little bit with this. Let's try and come up here and heal him. And I think he just jumped out of the healing circle, didn't he? Yeah, he's way out of there, so I'm going to try and move over towards him. Actually, I might try and do a little damage to this guy. I see a lot of people play this robot and use two ansiles, but you gotta be able to brawl as well. Because there's a lot of times where it's like this, you just don't have teammates around to heal. Ooh, I got, I got the hiccups or something. And that match just ended. We won again. All right. Let's go play one more. Why not? Let's go to Hangar. Did my did my clan get promoted or not? I bet we did. Let's find out. Battles left. One more battle. Tell the big promotion. Let's see if somebody joined or if somebody... Nope, somebody denied they didn't want to join my clan. That's sad. Nobody likes my clan. Let me collect these real quick. There's nothing there. Okay. One more battle. To the promotion. All right, let's go play one more. Let's go ahead and start off. I'm going to go ahead and start off with Waylon this time. I'm going to follow my team to a beacon. Now I wish my I wish my gun was on the other side. I could come in here and corner shoot these people. All right, let's go into healing mode. Oh no, no! Damn, that that Ares just came out here and trashed me. I guess I'm not in a good spot. No. No! Oh my god. Alright, I gotta come back for my revenge. Man, my, my team is not doing very well. It's revenge time. Why why do I always lose lose targeting on those No, don't shoot them, don't shoot them! Stop! Why are they all shooting the purple shield? I have a team. I have a team full of idiots. I have a really, really bad team. I mean, look at this. Our team is doing terrible. Oh man, those freaking flamethrowers. See, this is the problem where, where I complain about the game. I mean, we got purple shields everywhere. We've got top-of-the-line robots. And I just used my jump and it didn't even jump. So therefore, I'm dead because I was going to jump behind that little thing. But, oh, this is a terrible battle.
mean, the whole enemy team's over here. Why is this guy taking any damage? Did you see that? He wasn't taking damage. And I got locked down in the air, so I was, I was trying to escape and get out of the, the firing range, but they locked me down in the air and I couldn't move. That was one of the worst battles I've ever been in. I mean, that, that was terrible. What, what did that last? That probably wasn't even two minutes. Well, at least I got 100,000 AG out of that. Alright, my, my clan has been promoted. I got 600,000 gold. And I got some sort of booster that gives me 75% something. Huh. Nice. Alright, let's go play one more since that one was so terrible. Man, I've never seen such a bad battle in my life. It's crazy. All right, here we go for one more. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Falcon for this one. Waylon never seems to do very well on this particular map. The whole team always seems to scatter around. Nobody seems to stay in one spot on this map. Sometimes they all come in here, but the majority of the time it seems like everybody's just everywhere. You might have one person in there, one person out here, one person out there. People just tend to be all over the place on this map in general. Plus my understanding is when you play Wayland on Beacon Rush, you don't really want to bring them in until you at least own three beacons for the most part. Because the team is going to continue to move around until they at least get three beacons. Usually after you get three, you get people who set on set around beacons to protect them so the enemies can't come over and grab them. Where is this guy? Oh, he's behind something. Ah, uh, I don't know where to go. I don't really want to go out here because the enemy team always spawns over here, but then again... That was weird. I should have been hitting him more often. Let's take this m mender out, I hope. And I'm locked down. See, this is why I didn't want to come over here. But I did any anyways for some dumb reason. So he's going to use his purple shield, stop shooting him. As soon as that purple shield goes down, all right, time to blast him. And he got away, and he locked me down. I mean, it's just not fun when you can't move. I wonder how long, I don't even know how long the lockdown lasts, but sometimes it feels like forever. Especially when an enemy is shooting you and you're taking damage. You know what? Okay, time to zap. Oh, he got away. Crap. See, this is why you don't want to fangs out most of the time. I just fangs out at the worst time possible. I didn't see that guy over there, and he started kicking my butt. So I'm going to try and come over here. Someone else has a Waylon, which is cool. So I'm going to come over here and try and get some health back. I probably won't fangs out as long as this guy's still alive. Okay, I'm healed up. If I stay inside this circle with all this damage reduction plus the healing, it should be really hard for the enemies to take me out. 
I wonder what level that will that Wayland is. Alright, he went into stealth. Okay, our Wayland's dead. And I'm dead. I guess I'm going to bring mine in and see what happens. Like I said, I'm not used to playing this guy for Beacon Rush. I'm going to try and heal this guy here. I don't even know. He's not in the healing circle. Crap. I need to move over here. I can't hit anybody anyways. And he just died, unfortunately. So that was my fault because I didn't move to the right spot. Can't quite hit him. come somebody this way yeah I like to be able to brawl with this guy I don't know the Avengers pretty good a few people you know say build a glory for this thing I don't know I, I I'm thinking about it as much as I hate lockdown but Maybe one lockdown weapon wouldn't hurt. Maybe I should build a glory. I don't know. Oh, we've only got one beacon now? Great. I probably should have picked a brawler. This is why I don't really like this guy. Well, I shouldn't say I don't like him, but I don't think he's ideal for beacon rush. I know I'm going to lose health here, but I don't want to just sit around and do nothing either. And I'm dead. Okay. I'm going to start here. I'll bring in my Hades. I'm going to go out here and try and get this beacon. Crap! Ola! Somehow it didn't damage me. Maybe it's because I had just spawned. Damn. Alright, we need to get this one. Nobody's going after it. If we want to win the match, we gotta get the beacons. I swear Spectre's slower than he used to be. I think, I, I don't know if they nerfed him or not. He just feels so much slower ever, ever, ever since that 5.0 update came out. Alright, we gotta get this one back. I guess I'll go up on top of the ship. I don't know if it's his animation changed or they actually slowed him down, but I used to feel like he was a pretty fast robot, but now he feels really slow. And 
I almost fell in the hole there. It looks like there's only one enemy left. Alright, we just won that battle. So I'm going to go ahead and end this battle. So, end this video. So I will catch you guys later.